itself. Um, yeah, it didn't work at all. <clears throat> so, uh, Baldur's Gate. Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Here's Amber. She is an assassin. She looks out, out for herself mostly and she likes hanging out with the people that she likes. And I think that these are the people I have selected to play the game with. Apart from Jan, who I shall swap everyone out with later. That makes sense, Dave. Yeah, that was part of the tabletop, at least when I played it. So, uh, a couple of uh, updates. We gave away the Ring of Regeneration because we're uh, an idiot. Valigar has it, so I have to go and get that back off him again. Ah, uh, that was stupid. And, um, yeah, well, Jan's used to it. It happens to him every single thing. High mirrors and stuff. Um... <clears throat> So we are currently off to do Head Lisa's quest. So uh, get him some nice armor, some bits of speed, some light, some nice um, yeah. loot in this mission. But it's also quite a tough mission, especially around our level. But we should be fine. I know what I'm doing. I'm an expert. Now uh, let me just move the chat there a little bit. Stuck out in the way. Put it about but there, but there, yes. No, Frankie. Not yet. I've got to go all the way over here to get it. You know? And then I'll have to put um, Valigari in my pack. I could go and do it now, but I kind of want to see how well I do without it for a bit. So I'm going to do the Planar Prison. But yeah, we, we just got to ask Valigari for it back. He'll give it back. He won't, you know, he won't mind. Pretty sure. So, um... Where are we going? This way. There we go. Whatever you want. But yeah, that was pretty annoying. A bit of an oversight. <clears throat> no, it is. Well, no, well, it gives a hit point every six seconds, and that that does really um, add up. So it is pretty important. It saves a lot of healing, Dave. So yeah, it's pretty important. The other one. Ah, the playhouse. It is in the basement of this inn. Come, let us. I enter. know. I've been here before. Be no, that was no. You're thinking of the, uh, the 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 iron stone, which I've also sold because I didn't think I'd need it. <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't kind of mine it. I, I actually, because Headley's could have used that. Um, of course, we can always go and get something for him pretty quickly as well. Indeed, Amber could have used it as well, but don't know why I got rid of that. I can't remember. <laughs> you must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party. Come on, get get down there. Forth. Amber was just loitering in the bar. Let's just stand there for a bit, just in case Headley starts to initiate conversation. And um yeah, had mod activated. It's just a hassle, you know, it's just, 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 just a hassle. <laughs> and the errant actor does return. Amber, I thank you, for you have brought joy to this dark house. Head lease, have you the gem? We bring it with us, Miss Realis, that we might have um, all the more reason to celebrate. Ah, Mekrath's prize, it shall be our salvation yet. Here, Amber, three, th 300 gold for the rescue of my bard, and a further 700 for the gem. Head lease tell them the truth of what we are about while I prepare the summoning of the conduit. Yes, Morales. Ah, my ravens, there be a tale between us that is long overdue. Forgive me if I led you to believe that your gem was just a worthless bauble for the stage. In truth, it'd be something far more interesting. A planar jewel. A nexus between the astral plane and the prime material plane, plane uh, which we are in which we are currently. Uh, Few of you primes would sense its presence, but Mekrath did, and so it was um, that I fell into his keeping. Luckily, he did not uh, rid himself of it before your timely, timely rescue. 
uh, primes and plain our jewels and and what uh, what do you speak of, Head Lease? Uh, for you have lost me. Yeah, I don't think I'm by as much of a grasp and all this sort of stuff. Oh my, for time is short, <laughs> and here I am uh, to uh, to give a lecture on the nature of the multiverse. As you are well aware, this playhouse, uh, which you stand, is a, a property of the Sigil Theatre Troupe, which is to say, Miss Rails, myself, and our company of fellow actors. As our name denotes, we come from the city of Sigil, which lies upon another plane of the multiverse, or more appropriately, upon a hub or node where many other planes collide. Are you with me? Oof. Uh, positively entranced to continue. Yes, well, travel between these planes is not the easiest thing, especially into and out of what we call the Prime Material, prime material Plane, which the Sword Coast and the Hall of Faerun is but an inf infinitesimal part. Well, all of this uh, really goes back to a most unfortunate satirical play in which, which, which we produced while we were still in Sigil. What was so unfortunate about it? Comedy of Terrors, it was called. The fact that the playwright wished to remain anonymous uh, should, would have been sufficient clue. Little did we know that the sordid tale of lust between two certain planar beings uh, might hold a mirror to the truth. Within hours, the theatre was left in ruins and a price was placed upon our fleeing heads. It was only the Lady of Pain herself, mistress of all sigil, who, uh, though, who through her uh, um, unplumbed whimsy sent out careening through a portal to emerge where we are now uh, in this place you're known as Arm uh, but the price on your heads is it not still there? I, my question to hounds, one does not satirize the um, Duke Rowan Darkwood uh, fact all of the fated and expect to live a life of safety yeah plans get torment I know I, it's been a very, very long time since I've played that game. A wretched Cambion hunts us as we speak and uh, has apparently tracked us down to the pri prime material, though he has yet to make his move. Which brings us back to where this whole tale began, that is, to the planar stone you rescued from the damn Mecrath rubble. Um, how? I don't understand. To travel from, from bit between planes, we birds of flight can pass through what are called young conduits, whipping snake-like tunnel, uh, snake-like tubes that rise between the astral plane, uh, their heads and tails clinging to different pieces of the multiverse. The planar uh, stone acts like a charmer's pipe to these conduits, bringing them to us uh, that we might enter and pass through. Miss Realis is playing the stone uh, as we speak so that a company might slip through uh, our hunter's grasp and find another stage. The play must go on, you know. Herr Delis, <coughs> everyone, gather round. The stone is ready to begin the summoning. As the conduits open, they will bring something with them. We do what we can to hold off whatever beasts come. Uh, we will do what we can. Uh, better to determine which route it be safest. Hi Rube, how you doing? I'm alright, thank you. And be your presence here would be appreciated. Will you stay with us? Uh, yes. We shall hold off these creatures as best we are able. Tell me when you uh, find the right tunnel. Whenever you are ready, Miss Realis. So we gotta fight off some planar beasts. Which ah, shouldn't be too bad. Mephits. Why does it have to be freaking Mephits though? Point. Oh. I punch. You won the best. My attack has no effect. Oh. Why don't I just go through there? I await your need. Mm, you need some healing. I think we have a lot of healing though. Yeah, you have ten. The game might still be running when I'm in the screen, I'm not sure. My attack has even a stage. We won't worry about these guys wasting ammunition. My no there we go. Good day, Realis. Will you permit me to stop this madness? I trust all Thank you. Who are you, and what business do you have with us? Oh, just an employee of an old acquaintance of yours uh, in Sigil. Duke, what was his name? Darkwood? Yes, Duke Darkwood. That was it, wasn't it? You really oughtn't to have done that play, you know. We were set up. We performed it under the assumption it was all fiction. The playwright never told us otherwise. 
Ah, uh, yes, the infamous anonymous playwright. Uh, and who was he? Uh, anyway, we never did learn. Neither did we. He wore a mask and met us in the alleyways. It doesn't matter. Come, my bad. It appears it's time to uh, make our reckoning. What of these others? Um, who are you, human? Surely Realis did not hire you in the hope you would save her. Hmm. That's what I do, Rube. I just wait. I just wait in the shadows. And then as soon as you reach for the mouse, I'm like, yes! I'm a stream now. That's what I do. Uh, so... I don't think either of these, these decisions really matter. I think the same thing happens. They get whisked away and the portal remains open. So I'd be willing to help, though I have no intention of stepping on anyone's toes. Or that one. Yeah, you would have to get through me. I don't know. Fool. Uh, we don't, I don't... Uh, it, yeah, results in the same thing. I don't need to involve you. Already have the souls of the ones attuned. Let it begin. And then he takes them all away. And... There it is. So now we can go in it, but yeah, no head lease. Hmm. Hmm. I hope we didn't have anything good on him. So I've got to do this with five people now. That makes it even worse. Oh well, here we go. What can it be now? I will. I will. <clears throat> Listen, you little maggots. I want to know how you got your collar off right now, or you'll find there are far worse things than being a slave. No, no, I don't care what you say. I won't be a slave anymore. Well, if that's the way you... Uh, Tareel, hold. Uh, others have come through the portal. What? Others? Ah, the Primes. How foolish of you to have followed your actor friends here. Von Eeth. Uh, close the portal, please. What can it be now? <laughs> you are, do you have any idea where you are, Primes? Uh, uh, I don't know, really. I just came through a bit of sightseeing, really. Then you are more witless than I mistook you for. This is a pure so choice for a sightseeing trip, Prime, as it will likely be your last. This place is one of the finest prisons of the plains. There is no way out of here except at the whim of the Cambion. What fools you must be to come here of your own violation. No matter, I expect you will bring a grand prize from the Cambion and these new thralls. Hunter, take care. Okay, stop. So, yes. Um, yes. This spell rules all. Yes. Um, hmm, hmm, this is tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. We'll make you do that. Yes. We'll make you do. No, oh, it's not there. Mm. All right, do that. Don't you. yell. I can hear you just fine. Do that. Swords, not words. We'll do that way. <laughs> Okay, you got that spell off good. Right, now this guy over here is going to be an issue, I think. Yes, he is. Um, right. Let's get Fire Elemental on the go. Um, that... You need to have magical arrows equipped, me thinks, for this one. I don't think I can hurt her. Every hamster has his day. Okay, we might be able to get a breach on her now. What can I do? Or this thing. Because, yeah, I really see this as being a bit of an issue. Quite frankly. Um, yeah, just wasting arrows there. Oh, we hitting it? No. Um, do we get that breach off? Do we even try to cast a breach? I can't remember. Cast a breach. Yeah, no, we're getting that. That's good. All right. And thankfully, we're trying to take that. Off. Okay, good. Because this guy was the danger there. Now we're okay. Oh God, don't go up there. Okay, good. No, please kill. Please kill a person before they wander off too far. Please kill them. How many hit points does one person have? Come on, get... It's only an elf. Christ sakes. Kill it! Okay. Save it. Good stuff. Well done. Wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? I, I thank you, my lady, for your time to rescue. I'm afraid I do not have much... Um, 
do not give much thought as to what I would do after I remove my collar. <laughs> well, he didn't have as much as many as he needed, did he? Because we still killed him. Yay. Uh, it was foolish of me, I suppose, but I would rather be dead than remain enslaved uh, to the Cambian forever. There has to be a way out of here somewhere. <clears throat> um, what do you mean by your collar? The Warden keeps a large number of slaves here. Prisoners uh, that have been turned into thralls by a magical collar that they wear and controls them. They are next to impossible to remove. Mine had a small flaw in it and I was able to squirm out of it not long ago and to find that there was almost nowhere for me to go here and danger down every corridor. Uh, nowhere to go? Is there no way out of here? The only sure way out of this plain ass prison is through the dark magic of the Cambian himself, but I doubt he would transport anyone out of here willingly. There would be no physical exit that I know of. The portals lead only to other rooms within the prison, and there are no doors or windows, if indeed there is even an outside to speak of here. No, the only way one can leave is through the use of magic, powerful magic that only a few might have, uh, to attract a conduit to this dim and forsaken place. Uh, what is this Cambian you speak of? The Cambian? The Cambian here is the warden of this prison. I know not his true name, but he is a cruel and evil master who delights in the suffering of his thralls. He is a powerful demon as well. You may have defeated his bounty hunters, but if I was you, I would find a way out of here and avoid him entirely. Do you know where I might find Herr Lees and his troop? You are friends with the actors? Ah, then you may as well be mourning them, my lady. They are in the warden's cells, awaiting transport to Duke Rowan's tower, I am told. The warden is directly north of here, through the hallway, but I would advise going against down that, uh, going down that path. You will see uh, on the floor markings that the Tenerio have left with their magic, portals that transport you to the other rooms of this prison. Uh, the ones in this hallway to the north you cannot avoid, and they'll bring you to the barracks where the warden keeps his personal soldiers and thralls. It is a most dangerous path to take. There is another way to reach the warden, a safer way perhaps, that may serve your purpose and perhaps mine as well. Might I tell you of it? Go ahead. Uh, the warden is powerful by himself, true, but he is also protected by the many thralls under his control uh, through the collars they wear. The passage to the east leads to the chamber of the master of the thralls, a lesser Tenari, who holds a device that I know allows him to control the collars. Destroy that device and the thralls are freed. The warden is vulnerable, and I will be able to contact my newly freed friends. Some of them are mages who will teleport us away. As well, the portals and the floors to the east may be avoided. They lead only to other cells, I understand, and are full of naught but violent and dangerous creatures. I... I uh, would not offer this chance, my lady, if I did not think you might have a chance against the one himself. I can think of no better way to uh, for either of us to escape this place tr um, truly. Why do I not simply free you thralls? Uh, why do I not simply free, free, free your thralls and have them teleport us away? Why must I fight the one? There are many old and powerful mages in this prison, my lady. We might get away briefly, but the prison's magic would track us, and the warden would spend power send powerful hunters very quickly. But the prison's magic dies with the warden. It is the only way. All right, let's find the master of thralls and do as you suggest. Most excellent, my lady. Lucky smiling on me truly that the mere chance of true escape arrived with uh, you through that conduit. I wish you every success. Yeah, I'm sure you do. We have loots, everybody. We have lots of loots and no... Well, we've got Airy to identify stuff with. A couple of useful spells, which will be uh, quite handy in this area, I reckon. So we'll show that on there. And on there. And this, which I don't believe is very good. Well, it's better than nothing. Although you do have to activate it. Yeah. I'm a class 8 for a mage. No good. Give it to Vince. What else have we got? I'll do it. Ooh, what's this? So, a small shield plus one. Meh. A dagger. Don't know what it is, but I'm not going to use it. And the paws of the cheetah. It went really well. Thank you, Rube. Um. Yeah, it went really well. I, I was very pleased with it. Again, it's something that I could have talked about in the uh, pen and paper game. Uh, sorry, in the uh, creative writing 
stream yesterday, which I didn't do. Um, but you know, long story short, I mean, I might, I might talk about it next week. Um, but yeah, it went really well. I was really glad with the with the way that it it progressed. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to next time. Really, a couple of uh, sort of like opportunities to advance the rules a bit as well came up. Um, things that you know perhaps you know, could do with some development, but things that I also know how to develop. Um, and again, just stuff that I occurred on yesterday, but I just couldn't bring myself to hit that um, go live button. I just I just don't know why. Out and out laziness. That's what it was. <clears throat> Nah, I just didn't do one. These enchanted boots were once the property of a deadly assassin fond of chasing down his prey. He moved with such speed that his targets often didn't have the opportunity to respond, even on horseback. Over time, the assassin's fame spread. Though his name was never known, all um, knew to fear the words uh, last heard by his victims. You can hide, but you cannot run. Doubles movement rate. So it's pretty good. We can definitely use that probably an amber even though she's got these on but I don't think she needs them anymore maybe um, yeah she probably still could but so there's some other things to look at name, it shall be done. and oh yeah you're still in the other one I thought, I'm sure there was something missing there Arrows, arrows. Oops, I can go there actually. Yeah, leather armor plus one. Decent enough to sell later. Armored, and mints. What are you still on there? Scrolls to sell probably. Uh, let's give these to Jahira. Hmm. Hmm. I think, yeah, Head Lease has got all our spell scrolls. That's really irritating. And this, the, uh, well, this is some Bardic Mail or something. Melodic Mail. Um, which is really good for a, uh, Bard. Which we had, and then we lost. Yes. Whatever you desire. Hmm. So you, Amber, are going to do a lot of time sneaking and stabbing and stuff. Nothing to it. Yes. Very well. It's a mage there. Nice. Run away! Yes. Strangers here? No! Go strangers! Um, we cannot control our actions as long as we wear these cursed collars. We, we attack them! We attack them and kill them all! These people are slaves, mentally as well as physically controlled, despite themselves. All we can offer them, unfortunately, is a quick death. This is not unfortunate. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Okay, AI on. Hmm. Kill them! Go for the eyes, boo! Go for Kill the them! Eyes. Yes. Guys, Ooh, if you don't like? mind, thank you. Boo says, what? Wow, this is... Anticlimactic. Okay, you there we go. Yes. Nothing to it. Gonna have you hide again. I'm the best in what I do, and what I do ain't pretty. <laughs> Can't you attack the? Yeah. Oh, you got your bow out. <laughs> there you go. Let my friends be hurt. <laughs> Try to backstab with a bow there. That didn't go so well. All right, neat. Um, I don't think you guys have anything. Simple metal collar. It was found in one of the warden's thralls. I could identify it. Maybe you'll know what it is. Just to get the description yes, of it. All right. But I don't really want to. Uh... Oh yeah, some stuff there as well. All right, I got to go back and get that. Um, don't really want to expend and. Identify spell just for a description of something that we're going to use. I will uh, just leave it then. All right, go back and get that stuff, Ari. I'll, I'll do my best. 
We'll have Harry be our uh, loot carrier initially. Even though she's the weakest person in our group. Medium shield! <clears throat> plus one. Sell. 20 soul plus one. Sell. Wand of the heavens. Come on, Airy. You know what that is. Might be worth uh, identifying that. Because Aerie can use it. I think she's... No, Jahira can use it as well. But yeah, we'll have Aerie use it. Yeah, you can't use that. Okay. Whatever you want. Although you... Oh, tell me. Uh, oh, no. Ah, uh, the Wand of Cloud Kill is also on Herd Elise. Jesus Christ, man. Everything that I was going to use on this quest is on Herd Elise. Ah, uh, these are dassy places to go into. Yeah, if you say so. I'm helping to uh, just Where Minsk goes, lead I people here. Hmm. Of course. With Amber. I have hidden myself well. Ah, uh, but a Cloud Kill would be really free. Because Umber Hulk's not there, is it? God damn it. Oh, don't attack them. Okay, well, we have another. Oh, there's no Umber Hulk, so we can call. Another mage to attack. Stop. Nice. Run away! Oh. Is that it? Hide again. Well. Now, now, come on, kill something now! Yeah. Huh. Okay. Stop him. Oh, that wasn't. Um. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! What's that? Chaos? Oh no. Swords. Get away from Amber. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. We saved. It's okay. We saved it. He's the burning man. That's how he likes yeah, like, how he likes to be. Don't judge him. Okay, we got other people coming along to say hello. You go there. You go there. Come on. Oh, you're chaos. Oh, Alright, you go there. You go there. What can I do? Don't like you. Go away. Badly injured. Ugh, yeah. oh, my main character. Okay, this isn't too bad. I think. Stop. Okay. Good. Uh, no, everyone take him. Oh, my uh, very end. My end. My end. Like finish forever. That's quite big, because how many assassins have you had? Carry anymore. You'll pick that up for me, won't you? I reckon that if you've got this far, you don't really need any uh, advice too much, I think. Cool. Um... I don't know why I think you can do it when she can't. This shot sword might be better than... No, it's not. It's still a plus two. It's just got a really short... Uh, it's just really quick. Hmm. Hmm. I can't identify that even if I wanted to. Never mind. Yeah. What are you doing? You Stop doing that. Mm, Thank you. I have beer. There you go. Yes. Problem solved. <clears throat> it's cool that your players are like, you know, willing to very well. do another campaign. You know, it shows you're doing something right, so... Away. 
Run away, run away, run away. Run away, run away, run away. Hmm. They're not following me. Maybe I'm just so fast. It has moved. Though moved where? I don't know. Oh god! <laughs> Alright, get in there, guys. Anything is active. Every hamster has his day. Alright, follow. Live by the sword. Live a good don't go down there. long time. Okay, good. Right. Armored, Kill. sharpened, and raring to go. By Just don't go up there. These should run out soon, I think. There we go, we got him. Although you are now dominated. So that's not so good. Oh no, now I've got a dominated um, um, thief character running after me. Now, oh yeah, I do have a charm spell, but the dominated character has that. Run away again! Run away! AI off, I don't want Mince to lop Amber's head off. Go away, Amber. Amber, go away. Alright, she's Mince following Mince, make so... Way, villainy. Hero coming through. Just, Amber, just go away. Amber, go away. <laughs> Stop attacking Mince. Oh, man. We'll just have to run around here until it wears off. I don't think she'll do any real damage to him. It is Minsk, after all. Give him a heal, maybe, or... Let's give him a heal just in case. There we go. Okay, sorry everyone. So She's back. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. Well, so are mine, though, Snow. Yeah. Okay. So are my guys, but, you know, if they're enjoying it, they're enjoying it, so... That's... There's no ifs or buts there, you know. They're enjoying it. No, Minsk! You're all a bunch of idiots! Jesus, goes, stop it! Oh. Evil, armored, sharpened, and raring to go. You're all a bunch of absolute morons. I didn't save it either, so who's the bigger moron? I absolutely did not want to go down there, and yet they, they hmm. just freaking did. Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. I lost my frazzle. Up your oh, I, could I think he's going to die. I'm waiting. You need something? Death spells not going to do anything. All right, I'm going to cast this with Airy then, since uh, he can't get away. Yes. Well, go on, then. I'll help however I can. Who's this? Who is that? Minsk is asleep. Oh, I'm just so annoyed because I haven't saved it, and this is going to be. This, I'm totally unprepared for this. Yeah. You wouldn't hurt a lady. Yeah, exactly. It's, one of, it's like a major fault in the game because like if, if you, you don't want your character to move in there, they shouldn't move in there. And you click here, then you click there. They shouldn't move here, but yet there they go. I love this game, I've played it multiple times, but you still can't avoid these things. There's nothing else there either, I mean... Anyway, anyway we'll just get through it. We'll just get through it even though my characters are freaking asleep. Hmm. Nice. I do have a wand of resurrection. You need my skills, I see. Oh Christ, and then they're gonna run up there. Hmm, vermin I see. Come, my pretty thralls. There is no escape there are no escape prisoners. They are invaders. Uh we must destroy them. My master, yeah, and then they become hostile as well because I've run up there and yeah, I'm dead. All because I moved into there and I didn't want to. When was my last save though? Because moving in there was the game being annoying. But not not saving was my my fault. No, we're not actually that far away, are we? Nothing to it. I have myself well. Yeah, there's just these two. I 
Okay, you run down here for no reason. Fine. I'll backstab you instead then. Wah! Oh, nice. Nice. Critical hit and you're immune to it. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Yes, okay. Wait, run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Your servant awaits. Hmm. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you. So, I'll switch. How are you doing? Nice to see you. There, I saved. I saved. I saved it. Mm, very well. You're gonna hide. Myself well. I'm gonna backstop this thing because it's half dead. Why didn't? Why? Why? Why not hide? Why not hide? Hide! Oh no, you can't. All right, just kill that thing. Not you. Take the life she gave. I'm alright, thank you. Just dandy. I'll help however I can. Playing a Ballad's Gates. Don't yell. So, I can hear you just fine. That's all good, right? Okay, good stuff, everybody. Well done. Did the wiring have anything? I don't think it does, does it? It is done. No. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Still got to get past this thing. Come on, Amber. Get in there. Uh, there's no point poisoning your weapon. I have hidden myself well, if you say so. I think you've got stone skin on, but I can't tell. Yep. You point, oh. I punch. One, so, I one at a time, here we go, one at a time. One at a time. Okay. Right. Um. What can I do? Faster than chick, take a fast pause. Slowly bring people up there. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. That Yanti is very dead. And finally, Yan. Don't want to go down there. Another stone skin. Come on, man. Oh, God. Oh, I should have. Oh, no. Okay, we're okay. Oof, there. I think it fried itself. Yeah, I didn't get the experience. <laughs> ah, boy. Oh well. We'll take it. Uh, pardon, this is a lot more exciting than any circus. It's alright. So, yeah, very good. So. Yeah. Of course. Hmm. Hmm. Heals us. Pulls us. Uh, heals, pulls, you pulls, heals, pulls. I, hamsters mm, and rangers definitely. everywhere. Rejoice! Hmm. So we passed two interesting places here. When the this wyron's perch twisted as if it lives and is soft and organic to the touch. But it's nothing important. But yeah, that. Whatever you desire. Let's go and see that again. Now I may well do something really out of character here, guys, and I may well rest before the main fight. Brazier glows with searing heat. An arm reaches from the fire as if waiting to grasp something and draw it, draw it into the heat. So that's where we destroy the thing. The controls. Yes. The thralls. <clears throat> The colours. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty, mm. pretty nasty. I'm waiting. Oh, yeah. yes. Now we'll need you not to have, not you, but you, yes, and you will need magical arrows 
and you will also need magical arrows. Because hmm. this would be pretty nasty, actually. Very well. Not looking forward to this. Must admit. You! You are the ones who have brought such disruption to this prison and my thralls, eh? Well, this will be the end of that. And then, air elementals. Um, my skills, I, I have elementals as well. Well, one at least. Do we have any other summons? I don't think we do. This party's not very big on summons. I can use fire on them, I guess. Oh, yes, and then you get held. Brilliant. You got a spell off. That's something. Speak your mind. Yeah. And bull stand oh, yeah, AI definitely on for this. Um, prepare. Oh, you need to kill him. Armor, sharpened and raring to go. Don't die, Minsk. Thank you. Concentrate on the one, dude. Must get aid soon. Near death, good stuff. You sound like yeah, I'm finish him off. Me. You point, I punch. Minsk. Did Jan get the uh, kill there? I'd love it if he did. Freaking love it if Jan got the kill. Did he? Yes, he did! <laughs> Ah, brilliant. Swords, not words. <laughs> All right, please don't die. I said, please don't die. Not keep dying. All right, how are you? Oh, it's because you. Hmm. Yeah, probably not use lightning arrows on the air elementals. Or bolts. You know what I mean. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. There we go, we got this. Yeah, I may well rest at some point pretty soon. Oh, Dwarf Thrall, you you have killed the master, you have killed him! By Clan Gen uh, Geddon's axe. I thought such a thing not even possible. Uh, do you know what, do you, uh, what device this creature has that controls the thralls? Yes, the orb he carries, the orb of mastery. I cannot touch it so long as I wear this collar, but if you would, if you wish to destroy it, you can. You must take the orb to the room south of here, uh, with the magical brazier in the center. The flames will surely dis uh, destroy the orb and free all the thralls here in the process. I, I must flee before the one discovers that the master of thralls is dead. Please destroy the orb um, if you are able, I beg you. This orb here. Huh? We also got another staff. Stuff of the air. This seems to draw from the uh, elven artistic traditions, though tied less to the forest than is usually customary. It was apparently designed to control air elementals, being able to summon one as a servant to the wielder and potentially destroying creatures of the same type in a single blow. When necessary, it can also spawn a cloud of gas, causing anyone within the area uh, of effect to fall into a deep slumber. Some effects uh, are limited by charges. You think snarl, but yeah, really, it's fine. It's just exposition, handy exposition about what to do. Um, so yeah, now Jan has two two uh, things to play with. Also, this red orb, which is extremely powerful, seems to do nothing. Well, we don't know what it is. <clears throat> Technically, except we do. Um, yes. So if I want yes. to rest, now would be a good time because the next thing is the boss. Um, I'm pretty much out of healing. Uh, yes. Pay no attention to that. Okay. However I can. Just pay no attention to it. Where's all the healing I was supposed to? Every hamster has his day. Ah, um, you're right, because Aerie currently... Well, she has this Mauler's arm. But you're right, Fluid. Um, more summons is probably more useful than the strength bonus of that. So, yes... Nice to see you, by the way. Hope things are going well for you. Hmm. I give this a go uh, without resting. 
Miss well within uh, this hall. Perhaps the portal is else portal elsewhere. Yes. No, I'm not going to just charge in there. Um. Come on. Now I am I am not going to forget to uh, do the portal thing. But the thing is, this is really annoying because that's where the fight starts. So you got to stand here. So everybody, just I come along and stand here. The insect swarm here would be freaking amazing, but I mean, I could always rest and then and then do the fight. So I'm not worried about overcoming the obstacles in front of me. I'm just wondering whether I can do it in my current state. Now, we are, of course, going to buff up and everything, but then when this character has to go down here, break the orb, and then run up here again. Thankfully, she does have the boost of speed to do that. Um. But yeah, so we'll save it here, and we'll all buff up like hell. So, we want some of that goodness. We want some blessing on the go. Um, we want some of that. We want some of... We get some nymphy goodness. I really should have done some summons first, and then all the blessing and stuff would have affected them. But you have healing as well, don't you? You've only got that. We'll use it now. Um, uh, pardon, pardon you. Hmm? Hi, Onion. You're always so surprised. I like it. You need my skills, we'll all be hasty, come to think of it. Um, let's... Resist fear, that's probably a good idea. Something? You can we'll save a chance. Um Yeah, we'll we'll get that. Why do you even have that? Because you've got an oh, let's just get rid of that right now. Let's just get rid of that right now. Because you have a uh shield that makes you immune to that, so what's the point? We'll get you a I don't know, a freaking something else. A slow. Slow's always good. Um Yes. So what are you what are you doing? Nothing. Um, no 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 no! Don't change! Don't change! Always be yourself. Hmm. All right, you can't really do you much. Punch, I punch. All right, we'll just kind of leave it at that. You sound like Goladon. All right, you don't need to do that. So actually, that works really well because you can go down there while I get hasted. So they're all hasted, and then we'll run down here. You do have the orb, don't you? Too far away to use that. You place the orb in the outstretched arm and watch as the orb is drawn into the searing heat. For a moment, nothing happens. Then you hear a crackling noise and the orb bursts. Save the game. Run back here, and then run up there. Meanwhile, you guys swords, not words. line up there. By the sword. Live a good, you two dig in there. Time. Get in there, go and get in there. Uh, we're gonna stand back and watch for a bit. Oh, it's just so annoying having that thing there. Okay, no AI, thank you. Right. Minsky pops. Get some arrows on. We don't want to go in there just yet. What can I do? Oh, you? Um, you can. Slow them, I guess? Nature's servant awaits. Yeah, you do that on him. Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. This is a lot Jorn Jonsson at service. your service. Um, be all like woundy on and stuff. I don't know. Who's not doing anything? Hmm? No one. Armored, sharpest, and raring to go. I don't like where you stood, Jan. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, we got some AI on the go now. That's not right. Amber, where are you? Yes. Still running back? I don't know what you've got. Come on! Uh, call on the Master of Thralls. I wish to know what is occurring here. I will tell this place, this plane apart to have uh, those filthy slaves returned. I will flay the skin from there. What is this? You are not my guards. It is... It is you! You are causing these problems! I shall take the rest of eternity to make you suffer. Alright, Amber, where are you? Okay, good. You're practically there. 
Not that you're really integral to our plans, but it's nice to have you around. Uh, we'll throw another elemental in there. You need something? Because reasons. Get a death spell. Yes. That might be quite good. I don't know. Don't know if it'll be good or not. Who says? What? You point. I punch. Uh. Pardon, turnip reflex. Yeah, pardon you. I'll tell you what. We'll pull him off you, and you can get in there as well. All right. All right. You just run in there and uh, the what is the what? Is the one dead? The one's dead. Yan killed the warden as well. <laughs> oh, class. Oh, I didn't even know that I was even hurting the warden. But yeah, the mighty Yan killed both the, ma the Master of Thralls and the warden. Before Amber even got there. Amazing. Amazing. Swords, not worthy, battle bow. Rattle for the eyes. That's class. Oh, Love that. that. Elementals for everyone. Why are you doing anything? Oh, it's because everyone's dead. No, there's one still there. Mince Kill that one. For the eyes move. Run away. Run away. Run away. Let them deal with it. Sweet. Okay. Well. Uh. You. You wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? Well. Uh. You. You may have defeated the one. You have. You have defeated the one and freed us all. I wish I had some better way to thank you, my lady. But I have little doubt you will find your uh, own way. Your your way home on your own. Please, accept my most heartful thanks. The thralls who were once imprisoned here shall always remember you. Oh, that's all worthwhile, isn't it? But thankfully we get a lot of loot. Hmm, Let's just move away from there. So that went really well. Really, really well. Save that. Well done, everyone. I'm Amber, there's loot. Get the loot. Two and a half thousand gold. Which is nice. Uh... And that prison key, you all need that. So you need my skills, I I'll help however I can. I don't know, Nia. No, I can't carry any more. Oh come oh, on. I'm sorry I dropped something. <laughs> I don't think I've heard that before. Ah, uh, we are what all heroes. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere. It's a lot Rejoice! More exciting than any circus. A long sword, which we probably can't use, I think. And the wave I have thing. To drop what you gave me. Yes. Oh. I have the rest will be welcome. Too Let's much loot. You need something? Not a problem. A uh, big problem, that is. Um, okay, we'll give that to you. And we'll give that to you. Ugh. I reckon that's about it. It's long past time for turnip yeah. tea. Oh, everyone's tired now. After that haste. Alright, don't worry about it. Oh, my legs yes, are just yes, yes. Okay, we'll let them all moan. So you can life. get lost. Can, can we rest now? Please. That's about all there is to do here, apart from kill the, the things that are in here, but I'd rather not. Quite honestly. I'm waiting. Nothing to it. You have known us for so short a time, <clears throat> and yet you have bought our freedom with blood. My child, my friend, it is a debt I can never repay. That wasn't my blood. But we have to go before the Duke marshals his forces. I will use what powers I have remaining to open another conduit. Are you ready, Herr Elise? Miss Rayelis, I, I cannot come with you. Not this time. No? No more plays, Herr Delise? No more theatre? I wish I could, Realis, but I am just another moth come uh, too close to your flame. I love you. Um, to love you is to smother that flame in my own death. I shall not do it. Don't be a fool, Herr Delise. There is no mystery writer of our play. I wrote the comedy of terrors. It was mine. I brought all this upon us. I know, Miss, Miss Realis. You have my heart forever, but I do as I must. Perhaps Amber will let me travel with her for a time, but the Prime beckons this sparrow regardless. 
Then go on, my lovely head, Elise. I remember us fondly. Um, remember us fondly in your musings. And you, Amber, go with my thanks and take yon lovely moth with you. Yeah, I know. Um, well, I do know that fluid. I just never freaking use them ever. The question to be asked is whether we allow entropy to rend the group asunder. Is it time to move on? No. Stay with the group, please. Aye, the raven and the sparrow together. Um, it will be a good, uh, good to voyage with you, Amber. Yay. Your heart is heavy, my morning dove. Your eyes wander, I think, into dark and solemn places that others cannot see. Have a care, fair Eri, lest they draw you in forever. It, it is nothing, truly, Erdelis. I'm simply thinking of a time when I still had my wings. Sometimes... Sometimes the memory still wrenches my soul. I think I understand your loss, sweet one. Do you? I, I mean no offence, Hedelise, but I find that hard to believe uh, if you have never flown. Ah, uh, but there are more ways to fly than with wings, my dove, uh, and the fall to mundane earth is similarly filled with agony. Oh god, he's gonna spout poetry, I'm gonna have to read it. <clears throat> I know, yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right, and there's no point in saving them because I always have loads at the end and I, I have about four or five potions of strength now so why am I saving them? I don't know uh, my fall uh, was not the thing my love I thought I bore it well but to stare up into the heavens from the darkened plains of hell and to think that I too once walked those endless heights uh, is a pain I cannot tell that that was very lovely head at least they have simple words, my dove, uh, for this bard to understand, uh, but a tiny fraction of your pain has cleft my heart in twain. You you have my deepest sympathy, sweet, lonely, airy. Oh, isn't he a charmer? God, give this guy, like, Charisma 25. Christ! So, thank you. <laughs> so we've got a dove, a raven, and a sparrow. Not Jack, though. Yes. Freaking Jack, freaking sparrow. Oh, yeah. Cloud kill. And strength potions and all the stuff that I wanted to use. But now, you, I believe, will be able to identify many things, including this armor that we got. Pretty much the only reason I went to do that freaking quest in the first place. Because I don't think he's like a. Uh, it's it's a requirement to keep head at least to do that quest. I don't know. Ooh. Uh. Zarnus's second sword arm. Perhaps the most well-known owner of these gauntlets was the mercenary Zanus. He specialised in smuggling and frequently loaned these gauntlets to clients as if they were to travel with him. In his eyes, an extra sword arm was always handy. So Thacko plus one. Very handy. There you go. Um, short sword. Wand of lightning. Probably never going to use it. The wave shaft. Entropy. Pixie Prick plus three. Uh, the Pixie Prick almost appears to be a toy. So fine and delicate is the workmanship of the blade and handle. Yet when wielded um, and the command words sleep in tone, the tiny dagger glows with uh, a blue nimbus. Upon striking an opponent, the Pixie Prick releases a surge of powerful magic, potentially reducing, uh, inducing a deep slumber. Legends say that the ancient um, Sprite Knight Alfonso de Noble wielded the Pixie Prick not as a dagger but as a two handed sword. <laughs> but yeah, can fall asleep for two rounds. That's pretty good, really. Plus three daggers, speed factor zero. But I don't think we have anyone who uses daggers apart from Herr Delise. But is it better than the Chaos Blade? Losing dexterity? I don't think it is. And you don't know what that is either. That's really annoying. Right, let's go and identify all this stuff. Hmm. Oh, of course. Well, um, duh. Okay, we still can't use it. <laughs> Thought he could just I'm couldn't waiting. cast a spell because he was wearing chain mail. But no, he can't cast a spell because he can't cast the spell. Or he doesn't know it. Or he hasn't memorized it. Or, yeah. Yes. You must gather your party before venturing. It's gathered. Ooh, damn it. Like. You 
must gather your party before venturing forth. It's because Amber's going to get there twice as fast as anybody else now. I might actually not wear it generally. These boots. Just wear a sneaky boots. I never yeah. saw much of the cities not from the circus. Too. Are they all so crowded like this? Nope. Some of them are far, far worse. We could do the bridge just strict quests now, the tanner and stuff, but let's get everything identified first and draw a line under this one. I might end the recording and start another recording, but of course the stream will continue. But um Yeah, we need to we need to get a rest. We need to sell all this stuff, probably buy another thing. Uh then I might do the bridge districts or I might do uh which also means we're going to the graveyard or um we could also we could do the uh, Unseeing Eye quest. I'm not sure. I have you to decide. I'm still deciding. Rest would be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. Come on, let's kill something now! <laughs> hmm. We should also maybe check back um, we must rest soon. with our Thieves Guild. Honestly. It might have been a couple of days now. I don't know if that's bugged out, because the guy I was supposed to speak to about new quests wasn't there. But maybe he will be now. That's what we'll do. Next, we're going to uh, check out our Thieves Guild what once we've um, sold everything and rested. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, do that. I didn't need to, because it killed everyone by the time... Uh, he cast it. Alright, let's identify everything that we don't know. Which will all be in uh, Herd Elise's inventory, I reckon. So, this and this. That was easy enough. Oh, and this and this. So, what do we got? Um, well, okay. Kundane plus two. Disfigured as a, as a child. Dramnek Ulk was ostracized and ridiculed by his peers. In his loneliness, he spent many hours alone on the hills overlooking trade meat. A nearby wizard, Galama, discovered the youth and found him, uh, in him a kindred soul. The two became fast became friends, master and apprentice. Galama died before uh, Dr uh, Dramnek's tutorage could be completed, however, and the youth found himself once more alone in the world. Eventually he made his way to the streets of Athkatla. Uh, there he became a, a cut post, augmenting his thieving skills with little magic he'd learned from Gollumer. Uh Eventually he crafted this sword, which uh, enhanced Dramnek's uh, weak physical body. This weapon has no speed factor. It's got an extra attack per round as well. Wow. Okay, this is definitely worth thinking about then. That is probably much better than, than Chaos. So, at least you know these two blades that you've had all your life? Yeah, we've just got rid of them. Uh, now he has three attacks per round, which is like immense. Okay, I think that was something that was restored in this version because I don't remember that being a thing. Um, are there any other quests that benefit single characters so much? Enough hand. Yes. Um. Hmm. <sighs> you get a. No, I don't think so. <laughs> um, and this, of course. Um, the Bards of uh, Melody were about a small band of half-elf uh, bardic warriors who entertained and defended uh, scattered elven communities through Kalimshan. Uh, enchantments allowed only, mistral, un, only mis minstrels to wear their armor. The magic links sliding together to produce beautiful melodies as they danced or fought. Unfortunately, the Bards of Melody were disbanded hundreds of years ago and the secret of playing the armor faded with them. So it removes a lot of stuff, but spellcasting is not disabled and armor class is two. Zero versus slashing and four versus crushing. So that's good. That's really good. That drops his armor class by eight points, which is hefty, to say the least. The wave shaft. This piece of the wave, a powerful halberd created as a weapon of vengeance uh, by a cult worshipping Umberly. It apparently draws water out of his victims and is able to slay creatures of fire almost instantly. Uh, which doesn't really make a lot of sense when you think about it. Um, tales say the wave uh, was a long lost 
lost long ago to the fire giants of the Stormhorn Mountains, but it was recently found by adventurer uh, Arag Arad uh, I can't read Aragorn. The fire, yeah, well, they do get a nice sword there. Oh yes, and the armor. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's a, a good good counter to that. Yeah. Argonon of Longreach. He'd lost the weapon uh, to a wager in the planar city of Sigil, uh, or at rest within his bones uh, when his ship was sunk during the Great Storm and the Sea of Stones. Well, I think we know it's the latter now. And this one. Uh, Ajantha the Drinker. This blade belonged to Daba, long dead servant of Baal, um, that ex exercised control over his minions in the most brutal of ways. In addition to strengthening the mind uh, against the guile of others, the sword absorbs life energy from an opponent in each successful hit, healing the user. Dabar considered it a failure of his officers if he returned from battle in less than perfect health, and uh, as the rest of the company watched, he would administer beatings until fully healed. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a great story. <laughs> Hi, Shadowhawk. Crown Fair comes from the Shadow Dragon, not the uh, red one. Uh, immunity to charm and domination, which would be nice, and he hit the wielder. Heals the wielder one hit point. Nah. Plus two weapon. It's it's all right. It's decent. I don't think any of us use long swords though. So. No, you do maces. Just checking. All right. Um. Sell, sell it all. Sell, 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 sell. Sell everything. Sell loads of stuff. Sell all this. All that. All of it. Sell. Sell. All these potions I'm never going to use. Um, stones of flesh I'm never going to use. Never going to use. Mole's arm. Um, yeah, I'll probably never use it. Uh, probably sell it, get rid of it, be brave. I really should be wearing this cloak. No, I'm wearing the right cloak. I should have worn the other cloak in uh, in battle. Never mind, it's fine. Make your dreams come true today. Okay, so entropy. And Chaos, goodbye. Mail of the Dead, goodbye. Wand of Lightning, I'm never going to use. I just know I'm not going to use it. Pixie Prick and Anjata. Goodbye. So, 24 grand. I don't think there's much from this guy I need to buy anymore. So. How's Shadowhawk thing? You doing all right? Again, sorry I didn't stream yesterday. Thanks for, like, asking and stuff. You know, I was wondering. I always wonder whether people, like, will miss it if I don't. So it's nice that you did, in, in a way, you know, if you see what I mean. Meh, 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 meh. Um. Yes, if that's what you want. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. Yes. Oh, nice things. No, it's not worth it. I don't even have the horn yet. Um, I should go and get it. I mean, I've walked past where it is, so it's a bit daft of me not to get it. Aerie is the only person who can use the Sensei am Amulet. I'm going to get this shield. I'm going to get the shield. Buying the shield. Why can't I... Yeah, see, thanks, game. Thanks for waking up. I don't want that. Yeah, okay. Because I, I have no idea how to fight beholders other than with the shield. I'll, I'll be straight with you. I have no, Although I might go and... No, we won't get that just yet. Although I do need that. I need it for the beholder quest because otherwise I just get wrecked. I get absolutely wrecked. I have no idea how to fight beholders other than with that shield. 
Really? That's not good. Very well. Drink some lemonade. That's what my dad always said. Drink some lemonade. <laughs> so there we go. Drink some lemonade. That's my advice to you. Drink lemonade. Right, so what I'll do now is... No, I haven't rested. Because um, I need to find out where to end this video. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rest, and then I'm going and and end this video, but not the stream, guys. Um, for the YouTube peeps. What do you mean you'll try? How do you how do you fail at such a thing? I mean, I know you're real, man, but surely you can, you can stretch it to, to drinking lemonade. Well, yeah, there's that as well. I mean, the, the same thing, though. I mean, it's the same. I know it's not the same thing, but it is the same thing. You, you get an item that can beat them. Which, technically, is the same for everything. But, you know, we gotta go to this inn this time. Variety, spice life and all. Um, we know how to beat Umber Hulk, so we cast Cloud Kill at them. Uh, try it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I was I was being facetious. I was being annoying. I was, I was, I was being... Being difficult. <laughs> Never had no, sorry. Okay. All right, minute. There we go. Turn the light off on and everything. There we go. Good tidings to you, young wayfarer. Welcome to the Mithrest Inn. How may I be of assistance? Let me uh, let me see your services then. Certainly. Let's have, let's all have some drinks first. Now this is a selection. Let's get some winter wine, Amber. You will want some dragon's beer. You will want uh, some uh, winter wine as well, I guess. Uh, you'll have something a little. You'll have that wine. That sounds fancy. A new colony, a colony of new arm in Maztikia uh, is growing dangerous. The natives are rebelling against their masters. The council might send in reinforcements. Ooh. Uh, you'll have turnip wine, <laughs> golden sands, I guess, and you will get this expensive taste, said at least. Um, okay, let's just head into royal room. Sorted. Done. No, don't start that rubbish, even though it makes perfect sense. I don't like it. I don't like the game playing it for me. Thank you. We'll customize your script as just standard attack. Thank you. Fucking standard attack. Thank you. Okay, right. Um, before I answer that, Shadowhawk, I just want to say goodbye to the guys watching on YouTube. I'm just going to stop the recording, uh, then I'll start it again, and we'll start another session of Baldur's Gate. So I can talk about that um, in the, in between, um, so it's not on the YouTube and you know stopping people who just want to watch Baldur's Gate talking about stuff they don't care about. So um, if you're on the stream, then tough. But, uh, <clears throat> yes, so thank you if you're watching on YouTube. Next time we're probably, well, we're going to go to the docks district, see if there's any stuff there. Probably do the bridge and, uh, and, and do some quests there and then kind of see what happens and stuff. But, yeah, okay. Um, wow, Dave, okay. Well, on that bombshell, I'll say goodbye to YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Toodaloo.